Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin. It's Tyler again, and I just want to bring you a quick video on a stock that's looking to jump just at an insane rate going into next week, especially uh, pre-market on Monday. The company's called Nanox. Their ticker is NNOX, and essentially what they do is work around different types of X-ray sourcing that would allow for the healthcare industry and the world in general to drive down costs of X-ray imaging for different people and. This would allow a wider availability of people around the world who have access to x-ray imaging as outlined on nanox's website here according to the world health organization about two-thirds of the world's population don't have access to medical imaging and x-raying and things like that and a lot of that will kind of just delay a lot of data that they need to get proper treatment from their healthcare practitioners or just never get treatment that they need in the first place because they're not able to get diagnosed with different things afflicting them at the time that they need these imaging resources for. Their base model that they're working on is called the Nanox Arc. And not only is it looking to simplify the costs of medical imaging, it also is significantly smaller compared to a lot of imaging systems, which would allow for more useful setups of these in different like smaller clinics and stuff, as well as hospitals and everything along those lines. Alongside the developments of the main X-ray technology, they also also have it to where this Nanox Arc uh, model would allow for transmitting any of the images taken to a specific cloud platform that they have set up. And this would allow for doctors and uh, medical practitioners to communicate globally, whether they have the data right in front of them with the images right in the local hospital, or say like if you have a local clinic that could send your data off to a bigger hospital that could possibly give you a better diagnosis based on your x-rays, you could have your imaging done at a local space and it could be sent off to somebody that might be more practiced on the certain thing that you are looking to get checked out and that would allow for a lot more communication and accessibility for resources as a patient and this is coming straight from their investor presentation that they have but basically they have a different approach that they're taking to the regulatory clearance process they've already submitted their application for the single source x-ray version of the arc and i'll be going to more into detail of that but they did get that approved as of today which is huge news for them and why they're looking to jump up huge on monday and aside from this application clearance they're looking to get their multi-source nanox arc cleared as well which would be their commercial imaging system that they're trying to implement as their forefront of what they're trying to implement in the world and upon clearance they were looking to target putting out the first models of the nanox arc in the second half of 2021 which obviously since they got clearance today they they are going to look forward towards putting those out now this year. So we should be seeing the first of those getting shipped out by the end of this year going forward based on their plan specifically. What sets them apart from a lot of innovators in the X-ray specific niche of the healthcare industry is that they are targeting different kinds of settings than a lot of the general stuff on the market right now. So a lot of stuff on the market usually targets like hospitals, medical imaging centers, and things like that, like a lot of bigger facilities. But Nanox, has the drive to put this stuff as more localized and accessible to general people and not just people that have a lot of money or good insurance. So they're looking more for like urgent care units and outpatient clinics and nursing homes and stuff where we wouldn't necessarily have to have people travel all over just to get good imaging to see what is going on inside their body based on either like injuries or just like different interior diseases that we don't see visible on the outside. And everybody is freaking out because they did get their FDA clearance for their single source Nanox Arc to day uh and anybody that doesn't know april 2nd today right now is good friday and the markets are closed today so we're going into a three-day weekend essentially with the markets closed where this is looking primed to run pretty heavily pre-market this news is great for them to be able to start getting those first models out in the second half of 2021 like they originally planned and this is going to be great for the company as a whole because it means they're going to be able to have more focus on actually implementing these out into the world right here they're saying that they're looking to get the models out in the fourth quarter of 2021 and the first quarter of 2022 and then they're looking to get the finalized development of the initial 15,000 systems out by 2024 so they're going to be continuing to get these out by 2024 if the initial stuff for this goes well and the fda goes forward we have a couple more catalysts coming up for them obviously so when these first come out to different commercial settings these are going to be nice little catalysts when they get positive feedback on these systems and then we also have upcoming catalysts of fda clearance 
for their multi-source system, which is going to be their more commercially based system that they're looking to pursue getting out to different clinics and publics and everything like that. And for anybody unsure, an FDA clearance is slightly different from an FDA approval. An FDA clearance, basically, you kind of submit a offer that you believe your device is comparable to what's already currently on the market. And so they kind of fast track their approval in this way. Obviously, the FDA would still look over data and their application and everything. But if you can compare your device to one or more legally marketed devices, which this is x-ray technology. So we have quite a few different x-ray models on the market commercially as it is. Then this is going to fast track how you get your stuff throughout into a commercial setting and let you market this to uh, the general population. And as we analyze the chart on Nanox, this looks very promising as a relative bottom for where the stock has been in a very long time. So this is looking to bounce very high from where it is currently. As of market close on Thursday, April 1st, it was about 41.33. It did run after hours a little bit up a, just a small bit. It was about 42.3 as of like after hours closing for the markets yesterday. This is a relative bottom. Like I said, if you can get in this Monday, you're going to be looking to try to buy as basically early as possible because I expect this to run essentially from pre-market through till open. I don't expect much pullback on this as it's going to be running pretty hard with a lot of the momentum. Last time it got pretty good volume. It ran pretty high from the 60s to the 80s with FDA clearance and a lot of the attention on this going into the stock on Monday off a three day weekend. This could have a very high potential to go up uh, possibly 15, 20 bucks from where it currently is. I did initially say that this is looking to hit $55 by Wednesday, but I feel like that's a little conservative now. I think this could possibly hit that 60 to 70 range by end of day Monday and uh, running through the week, I could see it retesting those all-time highs, which were about 94.81. That would be a very bullish run. I think more conservatively, we're looking around that range of low 80s to that all-time high. If it can retest at all-time high, it has a very good chance to actually hit $100 by Friday. Even after this swing going into uh, this week, I think this is a very good long-term stock with what they're doing and how they're trying to change medical imaging in general. This could be very nice for them as a whole long-term. I think over the next couple of years, going into 2023, 2024, this could easily be a stock that's worth over $200, especially with their backing by ARC currently in some of their portfolios. If you're trying to buy in on Monday, even if you're just trying to ride it for the week hype, I think anything under $50 is going to be a very nice range for you to get in. But ideally, I would try to get in under 45 if you can get in real early. I know Weeble for me opens around 2 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. Eastern. So if you could get in that early, set your limits to buy under 45 or at 45, however you want to handle it, that's probably going to be your best bet to maximize profit on this right now if you're not already in the stock. Other than that, that's going to do it for me today in this video, guys. I did want to give you a quick thank you for the support lately. Again, you guys have just been wild with coming through, checking out the videos, interacting with me on Twitter and Instagram. We're almost at 100 followers on Instagram. We just hit almost 110 followers on Twitter. Definitely hit me up on those platforms at DreamCoined to make sure you can get in and interact with me during the day for live stock calls and price targets and things like that. Uh, we are almost at 600 subscribers, so hopefully we see that soon. That would be uh, uh, pretty cool to see considering we've been doing this since mid-February. And I hope this video helped you with either looking at Nanox as a new stock if you haven't seen them before or as a affirmation of your holding right now and where it's projected to be going into the future. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.